It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome to another hunting challenge edition. Ooh. We're back. It's been a little while, Sarah. It has been a bit. I mean, we've done other hunts and things, mm -hmm. but Not since we've done a challenge, I I feel ready for a challenge. How mm -hmm. do you feel? I'm ready. I'm Let's do I'm it. I'm rearing and ready to go. I bet you are. So here's our quarter, Sarah, if you will do the honors. I shall. Today's quarter is brought to you by patrons and Bourbonites, Michael and Ginny Hopgood. Thank you, Michael and Ginny. All right, today we are hunting for... Chad, why don't you do the honors? All right. Oh, okay. I'm on the edge of my seat. 1792 expression, not small batch or foolproof. Okay, so at first, when you first started to say 1792, I was like, that's probably easy. gonna be easy. Easy. Not small batch, obviously, that's way too easy, or foolproof. According to 1792's site, only the small batch is regularly available. All other expressions are listed as limited releases. These releases include sweet wheat, high rye, single barrel, bottled in bond, foolproof, port finish, and the 12 year. Our challenge takes the foolproof out of contention though, leaving us the six other options. The mash bills and retail price vary on all of these. But the single barrel and the bottled and bond may be the easiest of the six to find for close to retail. The others are harder to predict. So this is a little tricky. We'll wow. see, I think, it's a, I think it's a pretty good challenge. Let's go ahead and- Do we spin the wheel of- Switch it out for the wheel of terms, terms and, and conditions, conditions and see what other challenge we have to deal with. Okay, Here what? We go. I feel like I'm talking to like a palm reader or something. What magic say, eight ball. Yeah, magic eight ball. What say you today? Five stops or less. Or less. Five stops or less. The Wheel of Terms and Conditions gave us the added challenge of only being able to shop at a maximum of five stores. So we had to choose our stops carefully. Our time starts now. So we better get to it. Oh, oh a bit of a, I Extra don't know. Extra challenge on there. Like not that I want to go to more than five stores in one afternoon anyway, but it, you know, do. if you can't find, I know you do. If you can't find it by that fifth store, it's like, well, we could like one more stop. Just one more stop is what you would do, so. Right. Well, oh. we better get started then. So let's get to it. All right, we just gassed up the bourbon mobile. Sarah's Breakfast. fueling up herself. Bourbon Ooh. hunting fuel. I don't know, it's a Tuesday. It's a beautiful day. If people like to know that fact, but it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday in Lexington and our latitude and longitude coordinates are. <laughs> so I don't know if like, you know, all of the uh, stores get picked over on the weekend and then by a Tuesday they haven't received trucks yet. Might not be the best day in the world to go hunting, but you also just never know. So let's get at it. Here we go. Here we go. Bye-bye. The first stop was our old friend, Liquor Barn. Looks like they've recently added a tasting bar to this location, which is nice. Must be very recently because these bottles haven't even been cracked yet. Angel's Envy cast strength is $265 nowadays? Seems like a big jump up from the $40 86.6 version, but okay. Here's a new eight-year chicken cock and plenty of Bardstown Bourbon Company. A more sensible jump up in price with the Woodford Batch Proof We've had a couple of these releases and they've been great. They had some nice bottles, Little Book Chapter 8, Maker's The Hearts Release, Elijah Craig Toasted, Barrel Proof, and a Barrel Proof Pick. Too bad we didn't draw any of those. And McKenna for $70? Who remembers when it was $30 or less? Sound off in the comments. What do you all think of the new Rounded Off Angel's Envy bottle? Chad likes it, but I'm kinda eh on it. Here's some bookers for 107. I think we can beat that price today. And here's the new Rare Breed label. Have you all been seeing Blue Run picks in your area? Here's a couple from Liquor Barn. And we were not expecting to see this Four Roses tasting kit to be sticking around this long. But 1792 wise, all they had is small batch. All right, no luck, uh, bourbon wise anyway, in no. Liquor Barn. Sarah, you got a bottle. Of I got wine. a bottle. <laughs> I needed it. Yeah. Needed it. As always, on to the next one. And the next one was Kroger Wine and Spirits. Nothing of much interest in the regular aisle, but I do want to ask you all about the Bullet Single Malt. The $53 price point has kept us from getting it, but from those who have had it, what do you think? Should we get it? Let us know, and thanks. Again with a small batch, but hopefully they have something better in the other aisle. And here is said aisle. I knew we'd find a better price on Booker's. $88, now we're talking. Too bad we already bought one for more. Liquor Barn did have a better price on their little book though. Oh, there's the 12-year Bullet Rye. We already have two bottles, so we're good. Small batch fireball? Don't mind if I don't. 
But hey, it's for somebody. Again with the batch proof. If you all see this bottle anywhere, the Blackback Honey Rye from Silverback Distillery, get it. This is one of the best honey whiskeys we've ever had. Here's Bespoken, a newer Lexington distillery that's worth checking out if you're in the area. Yeah, Uncle Chicken's is a great name. No luck at Kroger, so it's on to Jackson's. They had this nine-year Russell store pick that's been pretty popular and sounded really tasty. Some pretty good bottles here, including $69 for Blanton's, which we happen to need one, so we're picking one up. And they also had a nine-year Elijah Craig Barrel Proof pick, and not whiskey, but whiskey-related, is this Corazon Añejo tequila pick that's aged in a Weller barrel. I've been in a summer tequila mood, so I'm gonna pick this one up. Gosh, Sarah, you're gonna buy more bottles on this hunt than the channel is. <laughs> Whatever. They also had this little thing called Weller 12 from this small distillery called Buffalo Trace. Not sure if you've heard of it. It was $119, which is less than secondary. We have a couple bottles right now, but being the good friend that he is, Chad texted a buddy and found it a good home. So for now, it's coming with us, but no $17.92 here. Well, we want to take a little break in our hunt to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Zbiotics. Zbiotics Pre-Alcohol is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Pre-Alcohol produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Just remember to drink this probiotic before drinking alcohol, drink responsibly, and get a good night's sleep to fill your best tomorrow. So a couple weeks ago is actually my very best friend of over a decade's going away party, and I knew it was gonna be a big event. A, a big, rager. A big night out. Um, and so I used Zbiotics before I went out because I did not have time to be feeling bad the next day, and after a good night's sleep, I yeah. was ready to go. I got up and did stuff the next day, which I consider a win. Yeah, and Sarah, with Bourbon Heritage Month being next month and mm -hmm. all the bourbon festivals that we'll be going to, mm -hmm. this will be <laughs> our ride or die, basically, our best friend uh, for that. Yeah, because we'll, we'll be working. We have That's right. no time to feel bad the next day. No time. So go to zbiotics.com slash bourbon night or scan the QR code that's on screen now for 15% off your first order with code bourbon night. You can also use our code to sign up for a subscription oh. so you'll be prepared no matter the time or occasion. And if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they do 100% money back guarantee, no questions asked. No questions asked, that's right. Remember to go to zbiotics.com slash bourbon night and use the coupon code bourbon night for 15% off your first order at checkout. Thank you to Zbiotics for sponsoring this episode. Our second to last stop was Liquor Lot. In our town, you'll see a limit one on Buffalo Trace quite often. Good to see you can get however much you want here. And here's the small batch. We expect if they have any other expressions of 1792 that they'll be behind the counter. So more on that in a minute. Wait, $60 for Elijah Craig Barrel Proof? You just don't see that in this town. And it's an A122 over two years ago. Great price on Larceny and Bernheim Barrel Proof too. A lot of unpriced things we would like to know for the purpose of this video, but usually when they aren't priced, it's because it's not a great deal. Almost like it's market value and the price changes daily, which is silly. A lot of missing prices on the things behind the counter too. Oh, but look at this, a 1792 sweet wheat. We gotta ask about this one and it's 150. Okay, liquor lot. Good good selection there. Pretty good selection. Yeah. Prices though. Uh... You know what's weird? They had an Elijah Craig barrel proof mark for $60, which $59.99. We had to pick that one up, obviously. Right, which yeah. is wild. But then we did see the 1792 sweet wheat. Yes. But 150. I don't know. We have one more stop we can make before mm -hmm. we hit the limit of five. So I really feel like we can just do that and then maybe we come back here if we have. If, if we don't, don't want to lose. Is that cheating? I don't know. We'll decide. You tell nah, us in the comments. Is it cheating? Because it's, it's the same store twice. So I don't think that's, right. that's five. It's still five stores. I think that's smart shopping, Sarah. I think it's smart shopping too. It's hitting places <sighs> and then going back if you haven't found a better deal. I suppose. So yeah, well, let's leave it for now. Let's go to the next one and see. All right. One more shot at this. The last shot we've got at winning this challenge is Coliseum Liquors, and their side window says they have all these great bottles, so it should be easy, right? Nice selection right off the bat. John J. Bowman Single Barrel, Elijah Craig Toasted, Knob Creek 18. Whoa, that price though. The 12 year is only $80, and hey, decent price these days for the McKenna, 55 bucks. They've got Stag at 280, Booker's for 90. Hey, good for them. A 16 year Cream of Kentucky for $350, George C. Stag for $800. Their Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is $80, which isn't bad, but glad we got ours for $60. 
Hey, Sarah, your birthday's coming up. How about some dough ball birthday cake whiskey? Um, absolutely not. There's a foolproof pick which doesn't qualify for our 1792 bottle, but this one does. It's the 12 year. Hmm, $150 though. Just like the sweet wheat at the last stop. So the question is, do we want it bad enough? Well, there we, it. there we go. Uh, they had the sweet wheat and yeah. the twelve year. Yeah, we got um, the got the twelve year. Yeah, one forty nine. You know, one fifty. A little bit more than we want to pay. It should be around a hundred. But I think it's also like, what do you want to pay, and then how bad do you not want to lose this challenge? And for Chad, it's I really don't, don't want to lose, lose a this challenge. challenge yeah. He does not like to lose. No, so. no, I don't. I mean, again, it was our last stop, so that price point again, it's either that or fail. Um, so we chose not failing. <laughs> Hopefully, you can understand that. We like winning. <laughs> Uh, like wouldn't normally condone it, but here we are. Yeah, exactly. All right, back here at home base. Here's our haul. It's a modest haul. Uh, I, I wouldn't call it that. Well, okay. Three bottles is good for so, a day's work. Yes, but some money was spent. I wouldn't call it modest. I <laughs> yeah. mean, and they're pretty pretty big hitters. You know, we've got the yeah. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof here, mm -hmm. which we found for fifty nine ninety nine. dollars Wild. Nuts. And two years, though, this is, a, you know, an A122. So what's it even doing? Apparently they what's haven't, they, apparently they've had trouble moving them, I guess. Or they found some in the back. Something. And they're just like, we need like, to move these. Through. are old. These Who are want old. these? Who would they want, want this? fresh. New uh, bourbon. <laughs> gosh, I don't know. And then obviously, you know, decent price on the Blantons. We pick one up when we can find one at a good price because... Uh, we love to help out friends around whenever the they're... Holidays. Yeah, around the holidays yeah, we're looking for often. gifts and things. And then the star of the show, or at least this episode anyway, a pick, uh, or not a pick, a 1792 expression that is not uh, small batch or foolproof, which ended up being the, the 12, 12 year, year for us. Now, let's real quick talk about the price on this one. Do we have to? Uh, a little bit of buyer's remorse for that 150 because it's about three times retail. It really was the, I wanna win this episode. Yeah, if we weren't doing this episode, I would never have done that. I would not condone it. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess you can say we won the episode, but did we really win because we paid so much? You let us bottle? know down below if like, you think we won or if we're stupid. Oh, no. Uh, well, gentle criticism. <laughs> I think, I can, criticism, I think sure. I can handle it. Ouch. Yeah. So let's clear these other ones and do a tasting of 1792 12 year. I got to say, though, if you can get this at retail, which should be around $50. Oh, we paid. Yeah, that's what triple means, Sarah. I know, I know. It's just now sinking in, though. Wasn't listening Bree, before. do you need a bag to breathe into? Um, if you can, I think $50 for a 12, 12 year, year. Uh, in this day and age is a really good price. Yeah. Now, online, they do go for pretty close to what we pay, but then you have to pay, pay shipping. shipping. So all um, in all, it probably comes out to be about, about the same. We about paid the maximum of secondary because okay, we're dumb. Okay, because we're we wanna silly. Win. This is 96.6 proof. Barton, 1792, obviously, and obviously 12 years old is the youngest in here. That's a nice nose. Little little banana uh, See, perfume, get... candy banana sweetness is what I'm getting. I do get like a fruit salad kind of sweetness, but with oak and a little tobacco. Yeah, yeah, I do sort of get the tobacco, which at 12 years old is not uncommon. I'm really intrigued by this fruit salad plus tobacco note thing that's going well, on. Well, eat yourself fruit salad and smoke a cigar. I don't think that sounds like a great idea for me. No. I don't think I'll be doing that. Not a good pairing. Well, let's dive in. To your health, to the spoils of victory. I suppose. Is it a victory? Similar taste, like, wow. taste profile to 1792 foolproof, but instead of getting that, you know, oomph from the proof, you're getting that oomph from the oak, from yeah. that 12 year age yeah. statement. It is like fruit salad and tobacco on the palate <laughs> as well. <laughs> it is. The tobacco leaf note is pretty undeniable. Yeah. It is definitely there. Um, not as much barrel as I would expect in a 12 year, or maybe want in a I'd 12 get, year. I don't know, I'd get a significant amount. But I think it's the sub 100 proof maybe, if it were a higher proof, I think that would be. Well, okay, spoke too soon. It's coming in on the finish. It just took a minute. I think there's a lot of oak and tobacco on this with like a light sweetness of, again, I'll say it again, fruit salad. If you're counting, that's probably like five. Uh, <laughs> overall, I think, you know, really drinkable for the price point, uh, for the age. It is mature, like if you're not Loving a ton of oak and tobacco. This one might not be for you. Second sip, Sarah. I'm getting uh, some cracked black pepper. Yeah, absolutely. On, there on the sure. finish, especially, yeah. it really amps up. And I will say, for it being sub 100 proof, it does drink with some proof on it. I'm That's getting a nice little hug mm -hmm. here. It's nice. Yeah. I mean, all in all, really pleasant. I think a great bottle at retail. Well, 
two, at retail, two I would, times I would even right, say. Let's say mm, we pay fifty dollars for this. Great. I would. I am thrilled. I'm super happy. Fantastic. For what retail. if you paid double for it? I could completely see it costing a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. There's six years. There's things that are, and again, ages and everything. It's just a measuring stick, but. I know of six years that are hundred dollars. Okay. So now three times is what we paid for it. So thrice. I'd rather not. Triple. I'd prefer not to, and I wouldn't. <laughs> not have. doing it again. I stand by. I wouldn't have done it except completely, for this episode. Completely peer pressured by you all to win this episode. Do not blame it on them. Well. Well, you definitely don't see these are sitting around every day. We did have to hit five stores just to find one, and it was again well over retail. I just keep rubbing it salt in the wound. It's okay. Um, but hey, we did it. We could have bought that sweet weed at the fourth store, but um, mm. it was the same price. It was the same price, and it's a lower MSRP that's right. product. So at so least we didn't do that. I guess that's true. Winning. Sort of consolation, I, I guess. <laughs> I'll take it. Do I feel very consoled by it? No, not really. But. Well, to your sorrows. All right. Well, hopefully we have better luck on the next challenge. Uh, uh, until uh, then. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. If you haven't subscribed to this rating, do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Mm. <laughs> until next time, hunt more bourbon. Mm -hmm.